Are you looking for the best audio interface? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best audio interface on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Focusrite Scarlett 2i 2 3rd Gen. The Scarlett 2i 2 3rd Gen interface features an almost industry standard design that's user-friendly and affordable. The Focusrite Scarlett 2i 2 3rd Gen is the latest version of the interface that's become something of a standard for home recording and has long been our top pick. The Scarlett 2i 2 3rd Gen is compact, yet it's sturdy and bulky enough to stay put on a desktop, and all of the knobs and jacks are in the right places for comfortable operation. We especially like the design of the 2i2's gain level indicators. When setting the gain, aka the input or record level, you want it to be high enough to minimize noise but low enough to prevent distortion in instruments or voices. The LED rings around the 2i2's gain knobs will glow green when the input level is safe, yellow when you're nearing the danger zone, and red when the gain is too high. Clear and simple. The third gen version adds an air button for each channel. This delivers a subtle bit of extra zip to recordings. It also adds stereo direct monitoring, we explain this below, which can be an advantage in certain circumstances. But the 2i2 3rd gen interface has limited iOS compatibility and lacks a MIDI connection, which is useful only if you have a very old keyboard, drum machine, or sampler you want to use. Number 2. Universal Audio Volt 2. The UA Volt 2 is similar to our top pick, but with a MIDI interface and a more powerful headphone amp. However, it has a slightly less user-friendly design. The Universal Audio Volt 2 is a bit pricier than our top pick, but it has features that certain users might find appealing, including a MIDI interface, compatibility with iPhones, and a more powerful headphone amplifier than most USB interfaces offer, which can be helpful if your monitoring headphones require a lot of power to drive to satisfying volume levels. The Volt 2's level meters work fine, but they're rather small, and we preferred the layout of inputs and indicator lights on our top pick. The Volt 2 includes a vintage mode, like the air mode on our top pick, this adds just a touch of extra treble to make recording sound livelier. Number 3. Universal Audio Volt 276. The larger, pricier UA Volt 276 has a sturdy, intuitive, knobs-on-top design, and it adds a built-in compressor that makes it easier to get pro-quality sound. The Universal Audio Volt 276 is a great step-up model for musicians who are more serious about recording. It has all the features and benefits of the UA Volt 2, plus an onboard compressor that can quickly and safely smooth out the highs and lows of a recording and make it a little easier to set recording levels. The Volt 276 also has a larger chassis, so it takes up extra space on a desktop but it provides a sturdier control surface, as well as a more intuitive knobs-on-top design and large input and output level meters. It's over 50% pricier than the Volt 2 and the Focusrite Scarlett 2i 2 3rd Gen, but professionals and some ambitious amateurs will likely find the extra investment to be worthwhile. Number 4. Audient EV04. The affordable Audient EVO 4 makes it easy to set input levels, which is especially helpful for beginners. The Audient EVO 4 is an ideal choice for beginning music producers and podcasters, thanks to its affordable price and automatic gain-setting feature. Setting input levels correctly is the most difficult part of using a USB audio interface, but the EVO 4's auto-gain feature makes it easy. The box has a compact, lightweight design with a plastic chassis, so it may move around a bit on a desktop. It also has an unusual, single knob control configuration, but we got used to that pretty quickly. Discrete JFET instrument input, multifunctional rotary control with LED ring, DSP-based low-latency software mixer with flexible routing matrix. Class-leading converters AKM converters, AD-DA. Smart gain dial in your channels automatically. Smart touch points intuitive and fast control at your fingertips. Number 5. Focusrite Bowcaster 2. 
The Vocaster 2 offers a control layout designed for podcasting rather than music recording, and it includes a Bluetooth interface, automatic gain setting, and voice enhancement modes that add a professional polish. For those who create podcasts, a few minutes spent with the Focusrite Vocaster 2 will reveal the huge advantages it offers for podcasting. It's set up for a host and guest situation, with large headphone level knobs that are easy to adjust on the fly. It includes a mute button for each mic, plus a voice enhancement button that can be set for one of four modes using the Vocaster Hub computer app. You can also add sound from other apps using Vocaster Hub's loopback mixer, and you can bring in callers or background music from a phone through the Bluetooth interface or cable. The Vocaster 2 is pricey, but it made an immediate and obvious improvement in the sound of podcasts.